No? No. Maybe I like to live that way. I like to dress that way. I don't want paparazzi, really. But if they come, be kind. Write the right kind thing to write. Michael, is it the journalist's role or the press's role to be kind? To be kind? Because the press also sometimes has to look into things, uh, be tough. It can't always be kind. What, what you saw what happened to Lady Diana, you tell me. There should be some boundaries, some kind of way. The star needs some space. Give him a chance to relax. He has a heart. He's human. You canceled the concert you were about to do when you heard of Diana's death. Yes. And when you finally did a concert, you dedicated your concert to her. What did you say? In my heart, I was saying, I love you, Diana. Shine and shine on forever. Because you are the true princess of the people. And in words, I did not say it, but I said it for three minutes and showing a big picture on all the Jumbotron screens and the Sony big, huge screen. And her picture was there, shining, and the crowd went bananas. <laughs> I played the song Smile uh -huh. and Gone Too Soon. Give us some of the lyrics if you can. Shiny and sparkly and splendidly bright, here one day, gone one night. Going too soon. You have said, I grew up in a fishbowl. I will not allow that to happen to my son. Yet when your son was born, you sold pictures to the National Enquirer and to other European papers, right. tabloids. Why did you do that? Why? Why? Because there was a race. There were some illegal pictures out. Illegally, somebody had taken pictures of a baby. For millions of dollars. They said, here's Michael's son. And it wasn't. It wasn't. So I took the pictures of the baby. They're forcing me to get his pictures. There's helicopters flying above us, flying over my house, flying over the hospital. Um, machines and satellites all over the hospital. Even the hospital said, Michael, we've had every kind of celebrity here. We've never had it like this. This is unbelievable. And so I said, here, take it. And I gave the money to charity. So rather than... In, in a sense, what you're saying is what you did was to get them off your back. Yeah. Now they want to do it again, and I don't want, I don't, maybe I don't want to show him to the world like that. I want to have some space where he can go to school. I don't want him to be called Wacko Jacko. That's not nice. They call the father that. That isn't nice. Right? You said you don't want your, your child to be called Wacko Jacko or something. How are you going to pre prevent it so they don't do it to him? That's the thing. That's the idea. Maybe you should come up with a plan to help me. And you're his daddy. There you go. Well, they created that. Did they ever think that I would have a child one day that, is, that I have a heart that's hurting my heart? Why pass it on to him? Do you like being a father? I love it. Are you very involved with him? Yes. <laughs> do you want more children? <laughs> yes. You have been in the spotlight since you were a baby yourself. Yes. If your son showed talent, by the way, does he show any talent at nine months? <laughs> well, I'll tell you this much. Um, he, when he's crying, to keep him from crying, you have to do one thing. What? I have to stand in front of him and dance. Really? Yes. And he stops crying. His tears turn to laughter. And he starts happy. You smile. And do you do your moonwalk with him? Yeah, I do all kind of move. Mm, 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 move, and then he... <laughs> and he stopped crying. He stopped crying? Stop you crying. must do a lot of dancing. <laughs> I do a lot of dancing, yeah. Michael, if this little boy says, Daddy, I want to go on the stage. <laughs> After what you've gone through? <laughs> Hold on now. <laughs> Hold on. If you do go that way, expect this, expect that, expect this, expect that. <laughs> You'd lay it all out. I'd lay it all out. You're going to get all this and all this and all of this. You ready to do that? Yeah, I can't wait. Go and do it better than I did it. 
But know what you're in for. Know what you're in for. 